Yo, what's up, subscribers? Practical Psychology here, and it is my honor to teach you guys a bit about fear and social awkwardness with my friend who is highly experienced in this field and has an amazingly trance-inducing voice, Improvement Pill. Hey guys, Improvement Pill here, and I actually run a channel very similar to Practical Psychologies. And today I've been invited here to talk about how to decrease nervousness when speaking with people and girls. The first thing you have to understand is that social anxiety and nervousness when public speaking is fundamentally a form of fear deep down inside. And as a great psychologist once said, there are only two fears that you are born with. The fear of falling down and the fear of loud noises. Any and all other fears are learned. And this means absolutely there is a way that you can unlearn this fear. And I'm going to show you exactly how. Now, I do a lot of coaching, especially with men with high levels of social anxiety. One of the best ways I've found to combat social anxiety is through a personal challenge called the 100 Interaction Challenge. And I can just about 100% guarantee that if you successfully complete this challenge, you'll find yourself in a much better place socially than before you started. The rules are simple. You have a month to interact with 100 strangers. The key word here is interact. So you don't have to have a full-blown conversation. You don't have to sit down with a stranger and talk about the meaning of life for two hours. In fact, for the most part, depending on how much social anxiety you feel, I'd actually suggest you to use what I like to call bulletproof conversations. Bulletproof conversations are conversations that cannot go wrong. Things like, hey, what's the time? Hey, excuse me, do you know how to get to so-and-so? Thanks for the ride. Bulletproof conversations are conversation starters that are considered socially acceptable. One of the largest fears and insecurities that people with social anxiety have is they'll think, what if they think I'm weird and they don't want to talk to me? Well, bulletproof conversations absolutely demolish that fear because they don't require you to stick your neck out at all. No one's going to yell at you for asking for the time, but at the same time, you still get exposed to speaking with others. And this will still dramatically decrease your social anxiety. The reason why this works so well is because of how fear works. Fear is a very predictable emotion. If you choose to run away from something that you fear, the next time you confront it, it becomes bigger. However, if you choose to face your fear, the next time you confront it, it becomes smaller. You'll feel less fear, less anxiety. The 100 Interaction Challenge forces you to confront your fear multiple times over and over and over. And although each interaction isn't, you know, the most mind-blowing interaction, it still decreases your fear simply by exposing you to it. Now, once you've completed the challenge, you might want to complete it again. That is, if you really want to crush your social anxiety. This time, you're not allowed to use bulletproof conversation starters. Instead, you could try using a line that's a bit more ballsy. My go-to line is, Hey, how's your day going? And the trick to pulling off this line is to say it with a big old smile. Now, for those of you guys whose main issue is social anxiety when speaking with girls, I'd recommend the same challenge with a small twist. Complete the 100 interaction challenge, except that you're only allowed to interact with girls. You can use bulletproof conversation starters if you want, but as long as you get those 100 interactions out, I can guarantee that your social anxiety will be a thing of the past. Now I want to leave you guys with one last trick. If you're out there and you're having a hard time making the move and actually starting the conversation, use a little trick called the 3, 2, 1. See, the reason you freeze up and back out at the last second is because you allow your brain to start talking. And the moment it starts talking, it just spews all this negativity out. Instead, the moment you see someone you want to talk to, count 3, two and once you hit one you have to start the interaction this is great because it doesn't give you time to think or make excuses i really hope you guys gained some value from this short little video if you guys want to watch more similar high value videos check out my channel improvement pill besides that good luck and stay tuned so Improvement Pill hit on some great points talking about fear and how to overcome a bit of social anxiety, but I'd also like to teach you guys some stuff that I've learned about fear. For most of us, fear is a limiting factor that keeps us from doing scary things because they could kill us. Think about it, you're scared from falling from a plane because it could kill you. You're scared of growling teeth and crawling spiders because they could kill you too. You're scared of quitting your job because you could lose a valuable source of income and struggle for food and shelter. 
Now that's a bit of a stretch, but it's totally real for a lot of people. We have grown to become fearful of these, mostly by nurture to keep us away from dangerous situations. A lot of social anxiety stems from the fear of confrontation and awkwardness. Now, in reality, these don't really put us in any real dangerous situations, and after some practice, your brain will start to understand that. Just like Improvement Pill mentioned, the more and more you put it off, the worse it will become because you'll artificially inflate the perceived danger of the fear in your mind. The best thing you can do is just do it. Start talking to more people. Put yourself in more positions to talk to more girls if they make you nervous. I highly recommend watching his video on the law of averages if you want advice on asking girls out. The link is in the description. The more and more you do it, the better you'll get at reading body language, understanding micro social cues, and feeling more confident about yourself in social situations that at once you may have felt awkward. I want you to go out right now or as soon as this video is over and talk to someone. Have a new conversation with someone you've never met before. And come back to this video and leave a comment below of how you felt immediately after. Chances are you felt great because you may still have a small adrenaline rush, a part of you feels that it's glad that the conversation is over, and another part of you feels accomplished because you're one step closer to conquering your social anxiety. For me, the 100 social interaction challenge actually started to get fun around the 35th person. I started treating it like a game, I guess. Remember that fear can motivate you or limit you, depending on how you use it. And thinking of fear as a tool you can control will help you become a better person. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I just want to say there are very few channels that I watch every single upload. Improvement Pill is definitely one of those channels. If you want more videos on improving your social skills, or just some amazing life advice that he backs, check him out in the description below, or in the upcoming new end screen feature. So for this outro, I'm going to be listing a few bulletproof conversation examples. Let's have a go. Hey, could I have the time? Are you going to watch the new Robert Downey Jr. movie? Uh, rate my new shoes on a scale of 1 to 10. Are there any good restaurants you'd recommend around here? <laughs> my mother used to have a pair of shoes just like those. Before I pay, I'd like to ask how much those are. Ever been to the local zoo? I hear there's some kid that fell into a gorilla cage. <laughs>